There's no denying that technology today has seeped into every aspect of life. Not only is it rapidly changing the world, but also advancing towards making it a better place to live in. From developing a virtual assistant that helps you in practically anything, to space exploration, technology has come a long way in recent decades. Constant development in technology has paved way to expand our outlook, leading to some groundbreaking innovations. So let's go ahead and look at the top 10 technologies of 2020 that promise to build a better future. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. At number 10, we have wireless power transfer. Wireless power transfer is the transmission of electrical energy without using conducting wires as a medium. It uses electromagnetic induction. Over the years, this technology of wireless power transmission has eliminated the use of cables and batteries, thus increasing the mobility, convenience and safety of an electronic device for all users. Wireless power transfer is useful to power electrical devices where interconnecting wires are inconvenient, hazardous or are not possible. Samsung, Ycharge, Energis Corporation, Toshiba, Panasonic and Philips have become the leading players in the global wireless power transmission market. In the future, wireless power transmission is expected to reach $16.3 billion by 2025 from $3.1 billion in 2017 with a 23.10% CAGR. Now talking about the job trends, Apple, Dish Network, Google, Cisco, Verizon Wireless, Exchange Networks are some of the companies that hire for wireless power transfer. Computer science, electrical engineering, thermals and physics principles, power systems, proficiency in MATLAB, Python and experience in wireless systems are necessary to get into this field. At number 9, we have Augmented and Virtual Reality. Augmented Reality is an enhanced version of reality created by the use of technology to add digital information to an image or something. Virtual Reality is defined as the use of computer technology to create a simulated environment. Facebook has launched new interactive augmented reality ads to its newsfeed that lets you play games or see how the makeup looks on your skin. Apple has been rumored for a long time to be working on an AR headset. A newly published Apple patent may give us a better look at what the headset could look like. Video games using virtual reality can be considered as doing some physical exercise. In the future, augmented reality can be used for transitioning from PC-based to standalone mobile VR devices. Mapping of real world to enable persistent AR mirror worlds, eye tracking and facial expressions built in for natural communication. VR could also help create virtual humans to keep the real ones company. Talking about job trends, Apple has recently posted a large collection of job openings calling specifically for AR and VR expertise. Jobs range from graphics system UI, system frameworks and software engineers to an AR or VR demo evangelist. Companies hiring for AR, VR are Boston Consulting Group, Map Systems, In Data Analytics, and Cognitive 3D. You need to have a knowledge of Java, Python, MATLAB, experience in commercial software design, experience in high performance computing software programming, parallel system architecture, and GPU programming. At number 8, we have RPA or Robotic Process Automation. RPA is the process of automating anything and everything in the business operation with the help of robots to reduce human intervention. Robotic process automation is an evolving technology that is expected to be mainstream in 2020. It is estimated that by 2020, 40% of large enterprises will have deployed RPA software, up from less than 10% today. By 2020, the global market for RPA technologies is expected to grow to $5 billion. By 2020, 92% of European businesses will be adopting robotic process automation technologies to make structures and processes more efficient. RPA is used by just 19% of corporate controllers, but that number is set to grow by 73% of controllers by 2020. RPA will be widely used in different domains and industries like manufacturing, retail, analytics, aviation, oil and gas, and legal. Also, data entry and data reeking jobs will be managed with automated tools and techniques. The next stage of RPA will move beyond rule-based technology and start to include AI aspects. Companies hiring for RPA are Verizon, Albertsons companies, Dell, NTT Data and Cognizant. Python, Java, SQL, experience in AI and machine learning and Scala are some of the skills you need to become an RPA developer. In the seventh position, we have quantum computing. 
It is the area of study on developing computer technology based on the principles of quantum theory. It explains the nature and behavior of energy and matter on the quantum level. In 2016, scientists built a 5 qubits fully programmable computer. Now it's been upgraded to 53 qubits. IBM will soon launch this 53 qubit quantum computer. Quantum computer operates on the atomic level and allows them to process data at speeds unimaginable to classical computers that we're using nowadays. China has set up its first commercial quantum network in the northern province of Shandong. The USNSF or the National Science Foundation awarded $2 million to the University of Maryland to lead research on quantum machine learning with phonetics. In the future, quantum computing will solve many areas of physics that are only theoretically proven like nuclear physics, condensed matter physics, plasma physics and so on. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize how we use data and power machines. If we continue like this, by 2040, we will not have the capability to power all of the devices in the world, unless we can crack quantum computing. IBM, Google, General Atomics and Quantitative Systems are some of the companies hiring for quantum computing. Experience with Python, Git, GitHub, exposure to QuizKit quantum programming stack, developing numerical models and algorithms, experience designing, running and analyzing algorithms on quantum hardware are some of the required skills to explore this field. At number 6, we have IoT or the Internet of Things. IoT is a system of interrelated computing devices, mechanical and digital machines, objects, animals or people that are provided with unique identifiers and the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human-to-human -human or human-to-computer interaction. We'll talk about a few technological developments in the field of IoT now. IoT benefits the healthcare sector in a big way. Sensors and wearable devices can collect and monitor the data and instantaneously send it to processing. Health monitors transfer analytics by the minute which can help doctors across the world analyze and deal with problems. Cloud services have become absolutely essential for IoT deployment. These allow for various devices in an environment to run cloud services without being actually connected to the cloud. Google introduced its first self-driving car under the name of Google Waymo way back in 2017. Machine learning, AI involvement and edge analytics all come into play to make the car operate and analyze the environment in real time. The future of IoT has the potential to be limitless. Advances to the industrial internet will be accelerated through increased network agility, integrated AI and the capacity to deploy, automate, orchestrate and secure diverse use cases at hyperscale. As the IoT market continues to grow, so does the IoT job market demand for highly skilled engineers and other technical professionals. Siemens, NTT Data, SAP, Walmart, Accenture and Western Digital are some of the companies hiring for IoT. Masters in Computer Science, strong analytical and problem solving skills, hands-on experience with Python, machine learning and deep learning are some of the important skills required. We have now reached midway at number 5, Blockchain. Blockchain is a distributed database of immutable records called blocks which are secured using cryptography. It is currently used to track and trace compliance regulations and to build a secure open network for the drug supply chain by pharmaceutical companies. It is used to verify the authenticity of artworks, to securely track, validate and execute oil and gas transactions and to reduce the settlement time, the cost of processing global payments and to increase transparency of cross-border transactions. Based on recent news, blockchain engineers have a 517% increase in demand and the number of positions have grown more than fivefold in the past year. In 2020, blockchain will be used for improved water resource management and decentralized water reuse systems. According to Gartner, by 2020, at least five countries will have a national cryptocurrency. It will have the ability to troubleshoot on-chain events and manage uptime and connectivity even when some of the components fail. Blockchain will be used for data privacy using identity-based encryption. Companies hiring for blockchain are Deloitte, KPMG, Cognizant, EY Consulting and Verizon. Experience working with C, C++, Python, relational and NoSQL databases, cryptography, large code bases and internet security are some of the skill sets that you need to become a blockchain developer. At number 4, we have natural language processing and voice technology. 
advancements in computer science has made it possible for humans to interact with machines in their natural language either in written or spoken manner. This is possible with the help of NLP. Natural Language Generation or NLG and Natural Language Understanding or NLU are the two main components of NLP. Natural language processing helps organizations reduce customer effort, improve the organization's analytical capabilities and enable advanced automation. Earlier, NLP was limited only to text messages. Now it has become more popular for voice as well. It can understand the language, emotion and sentiment of what a person is writing or talking about. It helps in the space of automatic speech recognition and natural language processing in Indic languages for building voice assistance and for speech analytics. NLP is also used to scan users' email inboxes for signs of meeting requests with an app called Woven. Its virtual assistant generates suggested times to meet and sends emails to attendees to select a time option. According to research by Gartner, a quarter of all companies will have integrated a virtual customer assistant or a chatbot using some form of NLP into their customer service by 2020. In the future, NLP will be used for email assistance, which is autocorrect grammar or spell check, AI chatbots, sign AI, which is a sign language translator, and predictive police work. NLP in healthcare and life sciences is projected to grow at a CAGR of 21.2% between 2018 and 2025. Companies hiring for NLP and voice technology are JP Morgan, Microsoft, Amazon, Dell, Target and so on. R, text mining, machine learning, deep learning and much more are some of the requirements of NLP. And now we're at the top three. Number three is cloud computing. Cloud computing is the process of using a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage and process data rather than a local server or a personal computer. Earlier, cloud computing had only three general models – software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. Now cloud computing has XAAS, which is everything as a service. It also includes disaster recovery as a service, communication as a service and network as a service. Cloud computing is expected to provide the digital infrastructure for smart cities. With the cloud, data is transformed into small data and managed like virtual data. Less time will be required by applications to process this data. Data will be better secured and easy to manage because the cloud is centralized. The results of data analysis will be more accurate. 83% of enterprise workloads will be in the cloud by 2020. 50% of IT professionals believe that AI and machine learning play a significant role in cloud computing adoption today, growing to 67% by 2020. Companies hiring for cloud computing are JP Morgan, Honeywell, IBM, Wells Fargo, Google and Amazon. AWS or Azure Certification, Knowledge of Red Hat, EC2, VPC, VCN, DevOps and Automation Experience are the skills required to start a career in cloud computing. And now we're at the top two. Number two is 5G. 5G is the fifth generation of cellular technology. It is expected to provide internet connections that are at least 40 times faster than 4G LTE. 5G would significantly improve the bandwidth, capacity and reliability of cellular broadband far more than previous generational shifts. 5G will be used in developments of mixed reality, smart factories and smart cities. 5G technology enables edge computing architecture. Edge computing is the practice of processing data near the edge of your network where data is generated rather than a centralized data processing warehouse. By 2035, it is estimated that 5G will enable $12.3 trillion of global economic output. In the future, with the help of 5G, there will be a 10 times decrease in latency, 10 times increase in connection density, 3 times increase in spectrum efficiency, and 100 times increase in traffic capacity. In the US, the big four carriers AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon will begin rolling out 5G networks in 2019 and 2020. Reliance, Jio and Chinese telecom firms, China Mobile, China Unicorn and many others have joined hands for 5G technology. Companies hiring for 5G are Verizon, Nokia, Motorola, Qualcomm and Samsung Electronics. Experience in wireless communication technologies, knowledge of communication theory, signal processing, machine learning, MATLAB, C, C++, shell scripting and so on are some of the skills required to start a career in this field. And finally, on top of the hierarchy, we have Artificial Intelligence. Artificial Intelligence is an area of computer science that emphasizes on the creation of intelligent machines that work and act like humans. 
AI is now being used in almost every business sector to reduce human intervention. AI has also a major role to play in cybersecurity and digital marketing. 69% of IT executives say that they cannot respond to cybersecurity threats without artificial intelligence. AI improves the accuracy of detecting breaches, increases the efficiency of cybersecurity analysts, reduces the time they spend analyzing fake positives, and improves productivity. In digital marketing, AI is being used to predict the behavior of a customer, delivering a personalized experience to the user, and unlocking new opportunities for marketers. It is expected that in the future, AI and robotics will come together and AI will help create fully functional robots. AI-driven virtual assistants will anticipate your needs and fulfill them without the need to give them any instructions. Many in the tech industry anticipate AI-driven applications, allowing machines to recognize your face to complete transactions. Research is already underway to develop new software applications that use AI to help doctors diagnose and treat patients. Google, Microsoft, IBM, Dell, Amazon, Baidu and Boeing are some of the important companies hiring for AI. Major skills required to become an AI engineer are Python, R, Machine Learning, Deep Learning, TensorFlow, Data Science, SQL and BI tools. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, do like and share it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.